Yo, what is going on, y'all? I'm Cavell Anderson, and we're back with another VV and Ecomi video. In this one, we're going to be talking about a couple of things. We're going to be talking about the VV verse and some of the feedback that we've seen thus far from people who are who have seen the VV verse. The VV verse has been leaked. We've seen a little bit of footage from it, and the community is going crazy. The reception of it is not looking good so far, but obviously, this is not an official release. It's just like the, the beginning stages of what's, what's to come and what's really going to be revealed later on today. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, that being said, uh, we're also going to jump into the Omi token a little bit later on in the video because I've been getting questions. People have been asking me, yo, um, <clears throat> why is the token dumping right now? Why is it not like, why isn't it going up? Like, why isn't it moving or anything? So I still want to, I, I want to explain that to you all because a lot of people don't understand what it means to be an investor. This is why a lot of people can't really relate to me because if you're not an investor, if you don't have an investor's mindset, you're not going to understand a lot of different things. So we're going to jump into that as well. So anyway, that being said, Joe, um, let's jump into this footage here. So as you can see, this is leaked footage of the VV verse. Um, let's check it out. <clears throat> All right. So. This right here, it looks like some type of background uh, for the VV verse or something. I don't know. That looks like some type of world, but we can't really make out what's on that monitor. Now, this monitor, however, check this out. So <clears throat> they're in, in VR right now. Now, as you can see, Two rabbits, two of the rabbits from VV on on some type of pedestal or something within some type of showroom. <clears throat> you have other collectibles on some type of pedestals over there. And then you see one of VV's posters on the wall. You see a little area for collectibles. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me, yo. My my um <clears throat> my cough is still I'm still getting over this little cough. Um but you see things are still just, they're just, it's just a glorified showroom at this point in time. This is why people are not impressed. This is why people are not happy and excited about it. Um, the fact that it's in virtual reality is impressive, but people are not excited about the fact that this is, from what we've seen, a glorified showroom. Now, once again, I, I think that what you have to understand about this is people's expectations are going to be crazy. So regardless of what VV shows, like, if this is not GTA level, no, people are, are going to complain. Me, what I'm looking for is I'm looking for quality. I'm looking for signs that this is going to be something that can compete two, three years from now. I'm not expecting some huge, mega, <clears throat> crazy reveal right now. I don't expect the V-verse to be out and be out here dominating everything this quickly. Honestly... In terms of licensing, interoperability, and things like that, being able to have the freedom to do certain things with these collectibles, I don't expect for all that to be cleared and to, to be happening anytime soon. I think that that's going to take some years, potentially. Um, and if, if we want to see a Ready Player One metaverse where you have all these different brands and IPs in there running around together, I don't think that they're at that stage right now. I think that they're still just dropping the initial IPs and stuff still. Um, so yeah, I think that people are going to be disappointed and this is going to lead to some things, dumping a crash, a lot of foot in the community. Um, it's just how people are when people don't understand something and, and it's clear that people don't understand what it means to invest in something. So many people are looking for these quick flips and returns and stuff like that. They're looking for profits and things like that this year. Um, while most of us, like most of us who really understand the project, we're playing the long game. Like I'm looking for, I'm looking to maximize my profits five, 10 years down the line. Um, and, and that's, that's something that's, that's key to, to really notice when you're following people in the community, when you're looking at how they move and the things that they're doing, all this short term panic, all this stuff, like every, every little thing that happens, people start panicking about it. It shows the little amount of trust they have in the team or the little amount of understanding that they have in the project. Because no one who understands the project expects this to be done within the next three years. No one. No one who understands this project at all would have a three-year timeline 
on this type of project. So I'll just put that out there. But at the same time, you have to understand it's money to be made. Like if you are a flipper, a trader and things like that, you can make money off of um people's and people not educating themselves. But we do have one more video of the V-verse I want to show you all. Um, someone else. But let's look at some of the feedback actually. Um Disney, didn't they say that the initial V verse is just an enlargement of the current showroom? <clears throat> well, that looks okay for me. I really don't understand what all these folks are expecting the whole time. So yeah, you have somebody reasonable here who understands that this is not going to be something crazy. It was never meant to be. This is also exactly what I expected. Basically an extension of the showroom. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so honestly, this looks like the, 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 and this is what I was talking about when I said it's concerning because you have companies like Quid coming up and also Todd McFarlane's company. This showroom, it looks like from what we've seen thus far, just the showroom aspect, it looks slightly worse than Todd McFarlane's. And they did that showroom within a couple of months. And that's that's what I mean by um, <clears throat> VV, VV, like I don't know how long they're going to take. I like... It's scary seeing competition now starting to rise quicker. Now, I don't think that anything will be able to beat VV in the long run. Like overall, I just don't think Todd McFarlane's platform offers enough right now. Um, but the thing is, if they keep turning things around at this rate, like it's gonna, it, it's it's easily gonna, you know, be crazy. Um, but um, you got somebody who said a lot of people I know like um spatial um this is also vv's first demo of the vv verse it's not even an alpha or beta yet have you seen amazon's first iteration of their market compared to today's version so <clears throat> got the amazon comparison amazon looked trash and now it looks amazing um you got bug nasty laughing at the vv verse um then you got him saying should i sell now or waiting for approval um and if you don't understand um there's a there's a trading saying called you buy the rumor sell the news um, so the rumor that the V-verse is coming, it's going to be amazing, blah, blah, blah. You buy you buy when the rumor comes out. But then when they actually show the V-verse, that's probably when people are going to dump. Um, unless the V-verse is really, really good, then people are probably going to buy in. And then once people start buying in, you have people who are more than likely going to dump. <clears throat> because we're going to get into the um, OMI token a little bit. There's no reason for the OMI token to be pumping or moving right now, by the way. So keep that in mind, that nothing has changed with the OMI token. It should not be pumping. So if you're an investor, if you're looking to find the best opportunity to jump in and make money and stuff like that, you need to understand these basic things about markets. There has to be a reason for things to move. Like this, this, this hype, this FOMO and things like that, it's not going to last. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't go too crazy right now. Um, get, being scared that you're going to miss the boat. There's no reason for the OMI token to be um, pumping like crazy. Um, <clears throat> That's just the inside vault. There's also outside and multiple types of property. So it'll be interesting if they're going to show that. Um, yeah, this is like only 20% what we are seeing. Let's just wait for the next two days. Um, what's on the right, though, looks more interesting. <clears throat> yeah, so obviously there's more. There's going to be more to it. But um, the feedback, it's been mixed reviews so far. So let's let's look at this one. So it's the this is this is actually the same one. This is actually the same. Oh, oh yeah. So this this is what um <clears throat> this is what uh, an influencer in the community says. It looks a little less impressive than a triple A graphic game, but still amazing from this blurry footage. Um yeah, I mean, I don't I didn't expect a triple A game. I didn't expect a triple A game, but the it looks clean. It definitely looks clean. It looks fitting for VV's assets. Um but nothing impressive at all has been shown to be fair. Except for the fact that um it's 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 working with VR already. So now you can kind of visualize how it's going to be in a VR setting, but most people aren't excited for VR. I'm not very excited for VR to be fair. I don't care about VR. I'm not like that. I think that it is the future is going to be a big deal, but I'm I'm not looking, I'm not super, super pumped about VR. I'm pumped about the money that I can make from understanding it and getting into it early. You know, <clears throat> like mass adoption of VR. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just not personally interested in VR like that. Um, but I know that it, it is more than likely going to be the future. More trash. All right, I'm done. This guy. Wow. Um, then you got Bug Nasty laughing at it. Okay. And then now here's another one. Here's another one right here. 
<clears throat> so as you can see, <clears throat> you got the VV fam out here. We see we're seeing more footage. More footage of the glorified showroom. <clears throat> Looks like they have flowers, they have couches. So we send some the first reveal of some accessories. The first reveal ever of some accessories. So this is actually pretty cool. Um, anything that you can buy to burn some Omi, you know? <clears throat> I'm I'm always excited for that. Um so yeah. Let's see what else we have here. Let's see what else is, is seen. Um, looks like, looks like that's all we're going to see, um, <clears throat> in this little sneak peek. So yeah, um, it looks dope. I mean, it, it looks, it looks, it looks okay. It looks okay. Um, <clears throat> I didn't expect too much, but I think that people's expectations are very, very high. I don't know if they're going to show us outside of the showroom today. Um, the official reveal is going to come today, but this is just a little bit of leaked footage of it. Um, in my opinion, it looks, it looks Okay, it looks like a great start. It looks like a great starting point. They've done a great job with this so far. Um, I don't think that this is going to be enough to impress this entitled community. The community is very entitled and spoiled. Um, <clears throat> and also, the community is very uneducated as well. They don't really know what it means to be an investor. They don't know how long it takes to build things. They don't know how, like, just having this in VR. Having this in VR, they don't understand how big of a deal that is just that you can use this in VR already. They don't understand how much work had to go into doing that. So some things that's impressive from a tech standpoint to an average consumer, it's not going to be impressive. It's not going to look too well. So this is going to cause a lot of FUD and FOMO because they're not going to appreciate the amount of effort and work that went into this. Um, but last but not least here, anyway, off the viewverse, let me hit, get your opinions in the comment section. How do you feel about it? I'm not going to leave any harsh critical opinions or anything until we see what they reveal today, because I will tell you this. I think that for a reveal, we need more than that. We need more than that because that's not enough for a reveal. That is a glorified showroom. And as long as we've been waiting, like you, you, you said we was getting the V-verse in 2021. As long as you've been waiting, as long as you've been working on this, I've seen Todd McFarlane's platform do this in three months and, and it looks better to be fair. So if that's all you show up for a reveal, then I'll be I'll be very much more critical at that point in time. But this is just leaked footage from some people at the event. So hopefully the reveal today is actually a, a hell of a lot better than this. Um, I, don't, I still don't expect too much. Don't get it twisted. I don't expect too much, but I do want to see outside. I want to see some buildings. I want to see some plots of land. I want to see VV City maybe. I want to see some assets within there. I want to see maybe the DeLorean driving around it somewhere. I want to see something that shows promise and shows that you have been working on this. That does not show that you've been working. Like that, that's just the showroom 2.0. Like that, that's a that's a week's worth of work right there. That's a like from if you take the current the current showrooms you have right now, that's a week's worth of work right there. I'm not impressed. If they if that's all they show, best believe it's going to get critical. <laughs> it's going to get critical for them. Um, but yeah, outside of outside of that, I'm a, I'm gonna save my opinions for the actual reveal and see what it is they bring to the table because I am excited about that. Now, <clears throat> last but not least, let's jump into the Omi token. Why is it not moving? Because it should not be moving. It should not be pumping right now. It has more reasons to go down than it has to go up. If you, if you haven't seen the markets and the, the, the broader space, right now, things are really bad in the world still. Th things are bad. It's not, it's, I don't see signs of it recovering anytime soon. And, the Omi token is still a utility token with no utility. What you have to understand is the Omi token supply, while it's all out, out there, it's still massive. Like we're not gonna start seeing crazy movement for the Omi token until more of the supply is has gone down, until the supply has started moving a little bit more. Like we need the, the supply to come down. We need more, more Omi tokens burned. And the only way that more Omi is going to get burned is by um, them actually releasing new features that uses the OMI token. People have to get to using the utility token. Um, so yeah, like until they start to implement utilities, until they start to have, make it easier for people to actually buy the OMI token straight from the VV platform and through some type of third party like MoonPay or something, maybe not that one, Transact, MoonPay, one of these different, like until that, that, 
becomes the reality and then they start marketing to a larger audience, we need a million active people. Like this is just the minimum. This is the minimum. We should start seeing something impressive at a million active users. A million. That's all we need. A million. But they're they're shooting for 50 million to 100 million. So look we've had like what? 5,000 to 6,000 people active in the community and we've burned what? 70 billion omi or is it 60 billion? Whatever. We burned uh, like that that much omi with just like like 7,000 active still. We're burning a ton of OMI with just like 7,000 active. Imagine what 1 million people do, does. And that that's easily attainable. Like that's easily attainable on the low end. On the low end, that's easily attainable. A million people? A million people is nothing. So imagine what happens if we get anywhere near their 50 million to 100 million people mark. And the OMI token actually has utility and they can start, it starts being used on a regular basis. Like, if even if if we have a hundred million people and even like ten percent or one one to ten percent are using the Omi token, the Omi token is going to like you know it's gonna it's gonna burn so much it's gonna burn a ton. Especially they're more than likely as they get millions and millions more people, they're gonna hire more more people. There's gonna be more drops. We might start get to a, we might get to a point where they have so much content to drop that we start seeing multiple drops every single day. Um, I, I wouldn't be surprised to get there. I wouldn't be surprised to get there where we start seeing multiple drops every single day. That's going to burn. Um, all this stuff start to be able to be used in the V-verse. The V-verse is going to be burning on me and things like that. I wouldn't be surprised to see all this. Um, <clears throat> yeah. So, I mean, at the end of the day, the Omi token should not be moving. It has no reason to move. It, this is a this is a long-term play. This is a long-term game. The Omi token starts to move once they... <laughs> once they <laughs> <clears throat> excuse me <clears throat> once they start advertising once they start advertising once they have um the ease of using omi features available readily available that that probably comes more so when um when um regulation is more clear some things it's just it's a waiting game it's a waiting game and it's about patience this is why my my projection for this starts at 10 years my project like this is why i'm 10 years minimum and this is why I went harder onto the OMI token because regulation is going to come to the crypto space and the NFT space. <clears throat> but the um, when it comes down to regulation for the NFT space, people don't realize how much harder it's going to be because now you're working with licensors. It takes them three, like three, four years to get some of these licenses. Do you think that regulation is going to be quick working with a company that takes three or four years for you to get anything done? No, it's going to take three or four years for some of these. Li and, and they have hundreds of these licenses that they have to negotiate this stuff with and figure this stuff out with. That's not going to be a walk in the park. Omi token is fully owned by Vivi. It's their asset. They control that 100%. They can do what they want with the Omi token. Things are just going to get done quicker with the Omi token. It's like it's, it's basically common sense. But you have to like lose the emotion and really just think logically about, about the space and understand what's going on. Because people don't, a lot of people did not even know that regulations was cracking down on NFTs. And they're not thinking about the fact that, yo, these licenses are taking years to get back to VV and figure this stuff out with VV. So if it's taking this long for these licenses, what if I'm holding something that takes forever for it, for the regulations to, you know, get sorted? Like, it's going to take forever for that thing to pump because everything around it is going to start getting utility. This utility, when the V-verse comes, you can rent certain collectibles, you can do all this. Yeah, I mean, Todd is still always going to be Todd, but if it doesn't come with utility, the stuff with utility is going to be what's pumping because you're going to be able to use it in the VVverse. You're going to be able to rent it to people. People are going to be able to buy it and do something with it. Like, a Todd is just going to sit there. If they release a new Batman with utility, you're going to actually be able to do something with that. And that's going to like that's going to be a huge difference maker, especially when it comes down to the feature that's going to burn the OMI token. So, And because so many people are invested in the OMI token, what is, what is everybody going to be pumping? People are not going to be talking about Tides and stuff like that that doesn't actually pump their bags. Everybody's going to be pumping what actually makes everyone money. It's just it's just human nature. You have to understand human psychology. Like, the the these, these collectibles, as much as all the true collectors are standing behind them and saying that these are going to be amazing and, and valuable because they are going to be amazing and valuable, but that's going to be to a niche audience. The biggest audience is going to be what's going to make the majority of people a, a ton of money. And, and what, what that is is going to be utility, things that actually do something, the metaverse, things that you can, you know, move your move your assets to across metaverses and things like that. Like, 
Stuff like that is the is the space in the world that we're moving into. So <clears throat> until that starts happening, you shouldn't be expecting Omi Token to be pumping and going crazy. Um, it's it's just this is just my perspective and my opinion. Let me know what you all think in the comment section down below. I definitely want to hear your opinions and how you all feel about it. Um, just wanted to leave you all with some of my initial thoughts. We'll see more a little bit later on today once they actually reveal the VVV verse. But yeah, that's that's pretty much it, y'all. Um, be sure to drop that thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on notifications. And I will catch you all on the next one. Peace out, fam.